Hello everybody, Rathole here, and today we're going to be going over everything on Devour. Now, uh, I'm going to be going over, like, this is going to be the most opinion, it's just, I'm throwing all my opinions out here for Devour. Hopefully they fix it in the future, or maybe they won't. And it'll also be ideas for them if they even watch this video. I mean, as dead as the game is, content is kind of scarce with the game, I will say. So, happy Halloween to everybody, by the way, even though it is kind of late. But, uh, yeah, the event is still active. And uh, November, for me, is still technically Halloween because, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's uh, talk about the main points about this video we will be going over the single player and multiplayer experience and the issues involving them uh, we will also be discussing perks cosmetics and we even can be talking about emotes at this point uh, because they are a thing and they are a huge fuck up so with that being said we're going to be talking about that and pretty much the maps and the achievements and just the grind in general so, with all of this being like the main points of the video, uh, you can probably skip through it to the point, you know, which point you want to, you know, kind of ease into or, you know, talk about, because you can throw a comment down below. Like I said, this video is going to be based only on opinions. Some of it is going to be factual. And the last topic will be the official Devour Discord. So, with all that being said, Let's go ahead and hop into single player. Alright, so now that we're here, uh, the first thing I want to talk about single player and the issues that come with it is it's not rewarding at all. Y you actually get like bare minimum nothing from playing solo other than getting a fancy achievement you can show off to your buddies. Um, other than that, it's a waste of time. Uh, you get less experience, it takes longer to prep if you're not a speedrunner, and overall, it it just sucks. I mean, you'd expect to at least get a cool fancy robe for beating a map on hard or nightmare at least, you know? But you don't even get that. So, with the issue I see being a single player, you get like almost a thousand less experience and the reason why that is is because the only experience you can really get as a boost is the difficulty and the batteries now on multiplayer you also get 50 additional experience for no medkits and that's kind of where the issue is that i see and it's not even a good difference it's just negative all around um, not to mention, you know, you gotta find the keys, so that's more time being wasted playing solo. Super fun, right? And as you can see here, you only get 75%, and this same applies to multiplayer, 20% right here, and like I said, 50% for no medkits. I feel like they should really just go ahead and just put 150% experience here, and 50, instead of this being 20, it'd be 50 experience for no batteries. And the reason why I'm saying that is because you get an overall 145% experience when just doing regular farmhouse, no batteries, no medkits, all nightmare. So I feel like 200 overall percent experience is well worth it because even in single player, if you die, that's, that's the wrap, amigo. Like, there ain't no going back. So all that time you dumped into doing a single player uh, map, it, it's, yeah. For what? Nothing. So hopefully they revisit this and make single player more rewarding other than just the smack in the face. Pretty much a cookie saying, oh, I did this map on Nightmare. I did this map on Hard. It's, it's stupid. So, yeah. Alright, so let's talk about the perks. Um, a lot of these are probably never going to be used. I mean, unless you're a new player and you don't, you know, know what to really get. These perks, out of all of them, I probably only use, like, three. And one of them are equipped right now. So, with me using Speedy, Fast Worker, and Evader as, like, my main three, everything else, 
useless. I mean, they are kind of good, but they're not good at all. They're, they're not a perk I'd actually go back to, because, for example, these two do the same fucking thing, right? But it's just for a specific item. Like, for example, you can see medkits through walls, or you can see batteries through walls. You might as well just make a fucking perk called, I don't know, like, Foresight or something, and you can see any item through walls. Like, rather it being, like, a fuse, maybe a gas can, oil can, uh, a box of matches, you know, and including the hay, uh, batteries, medkits, anything of that sort, you might as well should just make it, you know, highlightable. Because just having two separate perks is useless. I mean, even for this one, Crawler and Acceleration, these two perks are beyond stupid. Like, why are they separated? Like, these two could be together, and it would make the it would make that specific perk just better. Because Crawler, you know, you're 100% faster when downed, and you also get, and it's only 50% in vents, which makes no sense, but whatever. Uh, and then as soon as you get picked up, you have a uh, remaining 20 seconds of 30% movement speed. That would make the perk better. I mean, you can, you know, rename the perk, whatever, but these two should be together. These two should be together, or maybe get a buff, like I said, and you can just see anything through walls. Uh, same with, like, Supply Runner and Speedy. Now, I feel like a lot of speedrunners are going to go against me on this one, but this would also make it, would make it better. So, while holding an item, you go to 15%, but when you're not, you go to 7%. Because, let's be honest, most of the time, if you're not prepping, you're not going to get that 15%. It, like, seriously? So, it, it's just a huge waste of perks that has so much potential. So, the only time, like, if you're only going to be speedrunning, then yeah, speed is the, you know, is the way to go. And, kind of like with this one, immune and uh, repellent. You pretty much, these two, if they were together, like I said, they it would be a goaded, you know, perk. Because repellent, it slows down enemies to 50%. And if you're playing, like, I don't know, the town or the inn or slaughterhouse, you, you could just, you take 70% speed reduction. That, that would be goaded. And especially with the farmhouse and the town being like, or not the town, the asylum being the only map where the only maps that basically the minions grab you and that's it uh yeah it would be a goaded perk so i mean if they really just take the time look at all these perks and kind of just mix some of them together they some of these perks would actually be used more often because half of them i don't even touch it so anyways with that being said uh we can go ahead and move on to the cosmetics all right now that we're in the cosmetics, uh, some of these cosmetics are kind of fajanked, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, this skin specifically, her arms are fajanked. And by the way, if you bought this skin, I feel bad. I feel sorry for you because I did too, and I didn't even notice her arms were fickle. But uh, yeah, they they look curvy and not in a good way either. I mean, you can even see it in the lobby that my my arms are. They're not straight. They're a little bent. I don't know how you screw up a arm, but even some other skins are still kind of screwed up. Like, for example, Molly. This hand is always sticking out of any any rope, I'm pretty sure. Like, and I don't know, like, it, like maybe no one's brought it up, but it's always sticking out. No matter what robe it is, it's always sticking out. Just like the little things that can be fixed and it, it would just be so much better I mean honestly because why why is this an issue but you go to up here and you, like oh but this is fixed you know <laughs> like I, I just don't I just don't get it like they pay attention on some of these easier ones but yeah they still still have some of her arms sticking out of that um but yeah so anyways let's start talking about event cosmetics it's disappointing every year because they're just gonna bring it back and if there is a new map you're gonna have to rework for it so for example I had the Halloween robe last year so I basically didn't have this robe when the slaughterhouse map came out and Halloween rolled around the corner I had to rework for it I had to go to slaughterhouse do the tin pumpkins and then I was given this back so instead of just bringing 
you know, some a, a row back, which, yeah, bring the row back each year. But you could at least do something, you know, small. Like, literally, the pets, they're only buyable pets. Make, make like, a free-to-play one. Like, make, like, a little pumpkin that follows you around on its vines or whatever, you know? Or make a flashlight where instead of it, you know, having a regular light, it would project, like, a pumpkin or something. Who knows? You know, it, it's just, like, the little ideas that can easily be thought of. It, it's, just being, it's just being thrown out here. Like, I feel like half the crap that's being brought to the game is not taken seriously. I mean, like, when I said that the emotes are a quite literal fuck-up, I mean that. Because these are the only four that have audio. Firstly, none of these emotes have any audio. And secondly, you just look ridiculous. I mean, like, just let's just pick a random one and... Like the hands. Just look at the hands and the fingers. Like, seriously, like... The hand's not even on the face. And it's just bad. I mean... And with no audio, you just look stupid. Uh, I will say that. Yeah, you, you just... You just look dumb. I mean, do I have to really keep going? I mean... Just look at those fingers. They're so gross. Ugh. So, I think with all the cosmetics and crap out of the way, I think I've pointed out enough, uh, if it isn't obvious... Um, I guess with that being said, we can go ahead and move over to multiplayer and talk about the issues with that. So, uh, as you can see here, I just loaded up, you know, USA East, just something normal, regular, whatever. Uh, most of these sessions are either going to be private or it's going to be a public, but you'll most likely get kicked out of. So, honestly, you know, you'd have a hard time finding a public match anyways, and that's if they speak your language, you know? So, we're going to bingle around some of these regions and see if we can find a match that I can join. And if I get kicked, I get kicked, I guess. But yeah, another private lobby. Uh, let's move up to Asia. So, we have four here. I prob I'm probably going to get kicked out of this right here. So, let's just try it. I'm going to mute my mic because uh, I have my mic on. All right, well, surprisingly, I didn't get kicked, but, uh, yeah, they didn't speak a lick of my language, and eh, it's kind of a pain. I mean, there probably is a lobby out there right now that is opened up. Uh, no. We'll, we'll, we're gonna retry. We're gonna retry. Oh my god. Nope. And... Okay, yeah. And no. So, honestly, with me even bothering with another region and finding people that probably can't... I mean, probably in Canada. I mean, they speak some English. I, I'd, I'd have seen. Australia. No. Okay, well... Hmm. Maybe South America. Maybe who knows? Maybe there are people. Uh, um, mm -hmm. 
We'll try Moyo. Sounds like a Japanese username. Or I get kicked, I don't know. Uh oh, I might get kicked. <laughs> It just takes one look at, like, as soon as they look at the name. Oh, no, they don't even speak English. It's a no me la all right well anyways uh as you can see it's kind of hard to find a server that fits with you uh i didn't get kicked but most of the time i do get kicked uh from people in my own region so it happens i mean it does happen i just can't get it to happen uh but yeah with all the multiplayer and single player cosmetics, perks, you know, all this crap out of the way. Uh, we can start talking about the maps. The maps are kind of cool and all, but they are really repetitive. And so are the achievements that come with said maps. I mean, honestly, as soon as the town came out and they were like, oh, instead of them, you know cleansing you know kind of like for example cleanse a hundred eggs or break a hundred fuses or light the altar a hundred times they just said fuck it and you need to burn uh, a thousand books and that adds up time if you even get 10 out of 10 on that map each time you play it because you technically you can get it within a hundred games and if you're not like a super experienced player it's going to take you some time. And when I mean some time, I mean it's going to take you probably about 15 to 20 minutes. 10 if you're lucky, right? Everybody gets good fucking, you have a full team that can cooperate, all that crap. But that time will add up. It's going to take hours. If, yeah, even days to get that robe. Um, and same thing with Slaughterhouse. You have to dunk a thousand pigs. That's a hundred games. And it's just a lot of wasted time that can't be made back. Uh, and another thing that you will notice is you'll find a lot of similarity with each map. And when I mean that, I mean, for example, the farmhouse and the asylum, both the minions in there are able to grab you and kill you. So it's the same fucking thing with the inn and the town. You can walk through the minions, but they slow you down and damage you in doing so. Um, slaughterhouse is kind of a new minion in a way and they can pretty much rush into you and knock any item out of your hand while you can still walk through them yes but they also damage you as well kind of like the ghosts and the spiders uh and same applying to the ritual item that you have to get rid of the farmhouse goats the asylum rats requires hay or a disgusting food bowl to you know get their attention uh the inn and the town you pretty much have a minion that can grab the ritual item not just that similarity but you also have to cleanse the egg and you also have to cleanse the book before you can burn it i mean it's just a lot of repetitive bullshit and yeah each map is somewhat unique in its own diverse way but it is all similar in a nutshell and slaughterhouse being the only one where you actually have to go and find the food crawling around and get a bone and it's for a pig so the pig, the pig's mechanics are pretty much the same, but not really the same. Uh, I, I would have to say Slaughterhouse is the only map that probably sticks out like a sore thumb, just because of the way it was made. And when the developers thought it was a good idea to implement a block to every quote-unquote cheese spot, which they didn't block every cheese spot, I'm gonna throw that out there, but they did, you know, try to get rid of every single one. And if you do end up coming up with more cheese spots in this day after you know it's been out for some time they won't they they're not gonna go back and fix it i mean 
maybe they will at some point but as of right now the slaughterhouse was like the only map they were like okay you know we're gonna hold this one down and we're going to nerf the fuck out of it so players will struggle and i'm not really up against it i'm just i just think it's funny with the four maps they have made previously and all the cheeses that are known they just don't care <laughs> like and honestly i know that their development team or dev team is small but then again it, this game is not really you know that popular like the next map doesn't need to be a rush and that's the issue with the development team they're just trying to push out more content more content and i get it that's how you keep people you know enticed but as of right now the game like it doesn't even average probably like 30 40 players a day i mean maybe on a map release date and on that day when a new map comes out it'll get the most attention it'll probably have like over 100 players and even then it's just it's gonna die back down I mean, until they fix all these little small things and make some revisits to certain things like perks, cosmetics, you know, crap like that, I mean, the game would be better. Could be better. So, with all this out of the way, the last topic I plan on talking about is the, disc the Devour Discord official server. It is a, it, it is a mess of all trades like it's funny enough that i was in that server for a year just to get banned over something so minor but it was taken like like a national threat you know um so a little backstory to the to the reason why i'm bringing this up is basically new player joined the server and i you know i basically told him to go join a lobby and harass players and I'm gonna be honest with you, he knew I was fucking with him, so he knew I was joking around a lot, and it, hours later, uh, a moderator named Fajal decided to, you know, come at me sideways, basically saying, oh, you shouldn't be doing that, you shouldn't be doing it because that's wrong, and I'm gonna be honest with you, because you can tell it went over his head, but most people in the game know how I act, I fuck around quite a lot and I get it I mean honestly I, I could have made it worse and after the argument was dropped he came back later just to stir the pot even more and here I am getting banned so the funny thing is most moderators do not care and some moderators and even then like I said after I was told by someone special on the moderation team that some people think it's you know just not make it permanent but some, like half the moderation team, that oh yeah, make that permanent. For my for their first quote unquote serious thing with me, they just want to make it permanent. That's why the game is dying. They just want to ban all the active players and people that actually bring content to the game. And sorry to say it, but you're just gonna kill the game more. I mean yeah. They do got rules, but it's not like I broke anything serious, but like I said, they, they just want to permanently ban me anyways. So, I am not in the Devour server anymore, but if y'all do, you know, whoever's watching this video, if y'all want to join my server, I will leave a link down below so you can come join whenever the new map comes out, because I will be playing the new map. Uh, I will have future videos coming out. Uh, I'm going to re-solo each map and get those put out I'm probably gonna make more video ideas I don't know what it would be based off this game but we'll figure something out and pretty much with the devour server it is an English only server so that separates a lot of players and if you don't speak English they will pretty much just get rid of you if you don't abide by that rule so now there are multiple servers for certain languages and it's kind of ridiculous if you think about it I mean you're just separating the activity even further and honestly it's a bit over the top and for some of the roles that are given out it's given out to the wrong people the moderation team the community helpers why is there only one content creator and she's not even active unless it's like on like a map release or if any new content gets pushed out she's on that she's on it 
But then again, she doesn't make that many views either. Like, there's me, Tarvesh, probably some other people out there that make a lot more views. And you can tell when something's paid for. I will say that right now. Some some videos are super suspicious on some people's accounts that I'm not going to name. But it is hella suspicious. Now, with Devour's community being the way it is, community helpers, some of them aren't even active. Same with the moderation team. And kind of like with what I had to deal with, some mods just want to make the game worse. They don't care. They're just going to ban you and move on with their life. And it is rigged to the bone. So, yeah, with all that being said and done, I mean, in the game state and with the Devourers community, the way it's going right now, the game will die eventually. Especially with the content creator they have right now, there are so many other people that could be that could be given that role and actually be treated like a content creator because I like I just don't know. I mean, if you agree with me on any of these things based off just the game itself or the community, you know, let me down below. Maybe you disagree, maybe you agree, but this video is gonna get made eventually. And honestly, as for an indie horror game, there's not much I can talk about it, but stir the pot and hopefully they revisit some things i like i said i don't know but so yeah i think that's all i really got to cover i mean I, I think i covered everything about this game even the discord server so if you disagree with me or agree with me you know let me down in the comments below i'll have my server in the description if you want to join it um uh, i got a, i got a good amount of games so feel free to join say hello um but yeah, leave a like, subscribe for more if you want, um, and yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think, but other than that, I think that's about it for the game, you know, probably make a couple more videos, but, and I'll play it whenever, you know, new content comes out, but I think that's about it for me, so anyways, I'll see y'all in the next video, and y'all have a good day, and happy late Halloween.